Texas 95, 7 the Armadillo. It is time for the WRCA Ranch Radio. Down to the last couple here. Sponsored by uh, New Generation Supplements. I got that feeding a drum that you can hear the ad for now. Feeding a drum is, uh, that sounds pretty, I don't even know much about that kind of stuff, but I, it, like, I'm, I'm about to go in a deep dive into figuring out what all that does. Anyway, uh, Ranch Radio, welcome to the studio, you guys. We're welcome. <laughs> just went You're all over welcome. The place. Is that You're what welcome, we're doing? Craig. New Generation. <laughs> we need a new generation. <laughs> We do appreciate them. Uh, Thanks. Been, all year long, they've yes, been supporting yes, us on this exactly. deal, help, helping us bring the good word of the, the sanctioned rodeos yeah. out to right. the public, so we appreciate that. So right. Lehman took his tom-tom. I was going to say, did you go, Lehman? And bet on his I drum. I did. I'm curious where this Kansas. is going. But <laughs> Feeding a drum. Yeah. Some kind of drum. There's I, a did drum make the, I did make the trip, yeah. And we, they also had a youth rodeo. We'll talk about okay, that cool. yep. when they're done. But is that their last, is, is, was that the last youth rodeo of 2022? Yes. Okay. So all the finalists are in for that. Yes, eleven qualified Good youth sight. teams, yeah. and and those eleven will compete at one p.m. on Saturday, November twelfth. Craig, Get those tickets. How are the tickets going for that? Do they advance? Tickets oh yeah, going they're right? going awesome. I was going to say yeah, I bet they're pretty good, huh? They're that doing one, really good. Yeah, kind of has me jazzed. You know, last year being the first year, that's that's what we have to compare to. Yeah, but yes, sir, we have sold a ton. Good for good. that, that's and good. Uh, it, it's going to be good watching. Good, yeah. good quality fun. So, Kansas Championship Ranch Rodeo, yes. Medicine Lodge, Kansas. Really appreciate all of the committee's work up there. Uh, they've, you know, th- during the treaty, obviously there's a lot more going yeah, on. Yeah. But even on a normal weekend, the committee still had three events to produce. They wow. did our rodeo on Friday night. They did the youth rodeo Saturday afternoon. Then they had another Bronx and Bulls event Saturday night. Wow. So I pulled out of there, you know, middle of the afternoon. It was like 3.30 or so Mm -hmm. on Saturday, and we were all kind of dragging, and I looked at them, and I'm like, hey, y'all going to head to the house and get cleaned up, take a shower? And they looked at me like, no, (laughs) we're about to put on another event. Where do you think you're going? Yeah, we're going to stick around. (laughs) But um, good folks, really appreciate everything that they did. This was one of those, Casey, from results-wise, where we had a winner, but that winner had already been qualified. Where'd you say? Uh, so let me say, first place was Rocking P and S and P Cattle out of Latham, Kansas, and Welch, Oklahoma. Uh, where did they qualify? Do you remember, yeah, Casey? I do recall because it was very exciting. Council Growth. Okay, cool. Strawberry yeah. Pie Country. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So that bunch got the got the invite previously. They won the rodeo uh, second place, and getting qualified to come to the World Championship is Sooner Cattle out of Pawhuska, Oklahoma. And those guys are really excited. Uh, a neat little story behind this. Their youth team, Sooner Cattle Company youth team, qualified already for the youth world championship <laughs> earlier, in, and earlier in the really year. Really and they have been ripping yeah, oh, I bet they have. the parental <laughs> units over this deal. And so, well, so have we. <laughs> it was funny to actually you know, get that, get yeah. that finally done. Yeah. So we'll, we'll call Corey Hurd here in a minute on that deal. And then third place. Had, they had a, a great rodeo, uh, just as you all would know. There's a little here and there, falls one way, this happens, this happens. Anyway, the third place, a very competitive ranch team, Broken H Ranch and Nelson Angus. They are actually at the World Championship last year, that team was. Oh, they're hungry too. Cliff and those guys have been riding right on that bubble this whole time. So it's going to be interesting to see how Coffeeville this coming weekend pans out. Yeah, yeah. Um, Back to they're Kansas. hungry and they're and yep. they're due, but there's a lot of guys hungry and yeah. due that are going to that yep. rodeo this weekend. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, you want to call Corey? Then? Yeah, All let's. Right. Uh, we're going to call Corey. We're calling Corey, Corey Heard. Heard. Get the most out of fall forages with the help of Feed in a Drum supplements from New Generation Supplements. Feed in a Drum tubs provide your cattle with protein they need to efficiently harvest energy from fall forage, and it allows you to save some valuable hay for winter. You work hard as it is. Let research-proven Feed in a Drum supplement tubs make your herd work for you this fall and put more of that hard-earned money back in your pocket. After all, if you take care of your cows... They'll take care of you. See your local Feed in a Drum dealer or visit feedinadrum.com to learn more. And we got him on the phone from Sooner Cattle, Corey Hurd. Congratulations, Corey. Coming to Amarillo here in just a, about a month and a half now. What a beer before you know it. They, they should see yep. the death stares they're giving me right now. They hate when I say stuff like that. I hate the countdowns. <laughs> the notorious Corey Hurd that has been around as much as I have. It's been. It's been a while. Yes. Yes, sir. 
So, Bronc Rider, you ended up third, huh? But with 75 points, tied. Tied for for third, yeah. Yeah, split split third. Yeah. So who was, oh, Buford had the 77. You watch out. Corey's coming to town. You better watch it. (laughs) You better watch out. Don't don't jinx me. No, I'm on your side. (laughs) Yeah, it's okay. We we, uh, sacrificed a lot of chicken earlier to prevent any... (laughs) I drink its blood. Uh, any bad bad juju happening there, Corey. So hey, congrats on on getting qualified. Now we were were kind of talking a little bit before we got you on, Corey. Do you know? And I'm ashamed that I I don't have the history. I, do, do you know for certain is Sooner Cattle first time to qualify? Yes, sir. This will be our first our first awesome. time to go. Casey, you nailed it. The local historian thought that that was accurate. And um, so that right there is pretty cool. It makes me very happy. Very we're, cool. We're pretty, we're pretty excited about it. To me, I thought it was interesting. It, there's not many rodeos that we go to where when you look at the event results, you see a situation like what we have here. So this was a deal where a lot of teams got a lot of action throughout the rodeo. Like it was going, no, nobody just completely dominated every event. As you guys were tracking through the day, how were things feeling for y'all, Corey? Did you kind of have a sense that you were in the running, or wh- where was your mind at that point? Yeah, I mean, we started out pretty strong. Our first couple events, we were sitting pretty good, and everybody was feeling good. And and even going into even going into Medicine Lodge that whole day, everybody had a pretty good feeling about it. So we we kind of knew as we was going through the rodeo, we were sitting okay. But there's always that you know, there's always that thought in the back of your mind that. You never know what's going to happen the next event, and there's a lot of good teams there, and and it's hard to keep up with what everybody else is doing. And uh, unless you're sitting there writing down times and keeping points, it's, as far as you know, when you're out there competing, it's it's any man's game. Were you in the first set of Bronx or the second set? I don't remember. I was in the the second set. Okay, so the way that I just want everybody listening and understand, they bucked half the uh, the Bronx up front. So Corey wasn't in that set, so he hadn't yet gotten his score. You know, you're sitting there not you hadn't you hadn't done that yet. So you guys truck in second in the gathering, second in the milking, fourth in the pinning. Go to the branding, got some points there. You, you got ninth, so that's okay. You're still you, you know got points and in the running. And then here comes the second set of Bronx. I, I don't get me started, Corey. Talk us through that, bud. What was going on there? It was we, like I said, we kind of we kind of knew we had a shot. Um, there was some pressure falling falling on me, but I knew I just needed to try to get a good ride. Kind of knew about how many points we thought we needed, and didn't know nothing about the horse. It was a lot of pressure for sure, but we got it done, and I was able to get through my bronc riding and come out with the with a pretty decent score. So you did come out was, with a good score, and I, these one day rodeos, Corey. You've seen and been in a few, and sometimes they're your devil's advocate, and sometimes it's a saving grace. And when, if he, you know, you could correct me if I'm wrong, but when you are in the first set of Bronx on a one dayer, it's hard. Yes, ma'am. Because you know you have to cover it because it sets the pace for the rest. Now, I'm not saying a guy that takes a goose egg in the Bronx riding or gets a re ride and something happens or whatever that they don't have a chance, but it takes that mojo and it puts the pressure on for your next events. But then you flip the coin. And like in Corey's situation, he knows at that moment he has got to be solid. He doesn't have to be a rock star. He just got to stay hooked and hope the judges are tuned into what he can do. Because Corey can ride a rope like no one's business. Yeah, they say pressure is a privilege. But when you're the, the guy that's got to step on the bronc to win the rodeo, mm-hmm. that, that pressure kind of maybe turns on a whole other direction. Um, Corey, I wanted to, to speak a little bit just in on the fabric of... What WRCA is, I saw it on display when we were doing the awards Friday night. We're well, standing yeah. around, and as they started calling out the results, they get excited. It, it there was people in, obviously in the stands that had done their own calculations, and they were kind of expecting certain things to happen. But there was actually a moment when they when they announced third place, there was a little bit of they weren't expecting. There's something was happening. Somebody hadn't calculated something right from the stands. They weren't in line with what was going on in the announcer stand. And there was a moment of, wait a minute, who's actually going to win this rodeo? Like we said, Rocking P, S&P, they were already qualified. And, and if they won the rodeo, then you knew second place was going to get invited. So it was this interesting dynamic that I was feeling. But the moment they started announcing, everybody was there supporting each other. Absolutely. It happens all the time. It, it was an awesome yeah. thing. And... 
uh, the the people in that country have each other's backs. And and Corey, I I felt it just watching it. How, what does that mean to you guys for everybody to be like high fiving you? Y'all were calling people. You, you're mm-hmm. checking in with everybody, make sure. What was that like for you, Corey? Uh, it's uh, I mean, it's one of the one of my biggest goals I've had was to make it, and the, and the guys on my team, you know, that's what that's what everybody goes for, and and to have other teams, you know, right there congratulating you too, you know, we'd be just happy to see somebody else go. Um, it, it was almost a kind of a big sigh of relief once we finally heard that we got the got the trip to be able to go, and and then to go with your friends, you know, as close as we are on that on our Sooner team, you know, not only does everybody work together, but I mean, I consider them guys, you know, my best friends in life too. Our families are close, and and it's just it was a it's a big moment. It was I'm not sure fortunate to be able to take it in with those guys. It was it was a great feeling standing around watching it, and then we were joking a little bit about how the the Sooner youth team was kind of uh, ribbing <laughs> a little bit on everybody, and it was sure a sigh of relief to to see y'all, <laughs> you know, be able to bring both the youth and the adult team. To Amarillo, I'm just very proud for you and and very excited to have you all come to the World Championship. Corey, congrats, man. Uh, We look forward to seeing you guys. If you need anything between now and rodeo, just give us a shout. So Sooner Cattle, one of the finals. Sooner or later. uh, To get into the the championships. But you did have a final youth team get into the championship. Oh, boy, you better watch out. (laughs) They a good one. They wanted to watch out for you. (laughs) These are the wild children. (laughs) Had a a good youth rodeo, had 10 teams, and we, we, you know, kind of had a warm day up there in Medicine Lodge. Yeah. yeah. And Was it hot? It it, it was warm for, you know, this time of year, unfortunately. But the kids... We're just raring well, to go right from the either. start. They didn't give, they didn't give a care in the world. No. But it was a little rough, you know, when you get down. The last event for this youth rodeo is called the Wild Steer Race, uh-huh. and it gets, you know, gets a little western. It, it's very taxing. It's very challenging, uh, and some of these team members were absolutely getting mauled, getting pancaked, getting run over, <laughs> shirts getting ripped, hats flying. Well, no and, quit there, and absolutely. No quit whatsoever in anybody. This it's amazing to watch the determination that these youngsters have, and um, they're, they're they're just flat out entertaining. So we keep telling you if you it's a good affordable ticket. Ten dollars is all it's going to take you to come out on Saturday afternoon, November twelfth at one o'clock, and and watch these folks. You you won't regret it one bit. Uh, first place at the Kansas WRCA Youth Ranch Rodeo was a, a youth team called Rafter J Land and Cattle. Uh, we got Jeremiah Highsmith, Will Adcock, Delaney Johnson, Braxton Zebel, and Hank Hall. I'm chuckling because these banshees are all their parents. Are, we know their parents. They competed on cards or are competing on cards. And it's like a mirror image of their parents. And those two bottom ones you mentioned, they are wild banshees. Like, <laughs> I hear Braxton kind of oh, yeah. banned his oh, steer yeah. he a got, little bit. He got a little west. He, he was showing out just a little bit. Oh, yeah. And um, Hat down yeah. to his nose. He can't see anything. Yeah. <laughs> Looks just like his dad and grandpa. Exactly like his dad and grandpa. Yes, and Hank, no mercy there. It is what it is, right? Jeremiah, no different. I mean, these kids and Will... Yeah, second place was 4B Turkey Track, Dally Bledsoe, Will Mayfield, Daisy Bledsoe, Olivia Scott, Aaron Watts. So if you listen to those names, you're correct. There were three young ladies on that mm-hmm. particular team, and they were they were right in the thick of it, getting getting mauled like the rest of them. Oh, yeah. Third place was a team called Bar TF. That's Tucker Forth, Corbin Bailey, Will Bell, Tag Bond, and Grady Gatewood. It was like really adults. tight competition, case. Yes, the I know that. Two Ref points. Jay Land and Cattle was 40 points. Uh, 4B Turkey Track was 37, so separation of three points. Between second and third, two? it was two-point difference. So it, only a five-point spread yeah. from first Close. to third. Yeah. And, Craig, I, I think that is the tightest rodeo we've seen yes. all year, mm. if I remember right, Casey. Yes. It looks like it, it was really tight. So. But those kiddos, when, when they got introduced— the absolute joy on their faces. Yeah. Priceless. Yeah. 
whenever I got to meet with them, it was my honor to give them the invitation to come to the Youth World Championship. Standing around, number one, they're sitting there looking in the eye, <laughs> not not looking around playing in the dirt. They were set. They were they were prepared. And when I got to tell them they were getting invited to the Youth World Championship, you could just see the pure joy on their faces. And I actually ran into going out of town at the truck stop getting gas. Braxton and Hank were walking <laughs> out of the, the deal, and they yelled at me, Leland, thank you again. They were waving from the, you know, and like they were just so excited, Casey. It was oh, awesome. I know. Well, we need to also say thanks to a couple of sponsors on the youth side. There's, there's a long list, and we won't do the whole list, but there's two companies in particular. I want to say thanks to Cavenders. They jumped on board last year, our first year, and they've done it again, where they support each of our qualifiers with direct cash sponsorship, mm-hmm. helps them out, helps them run the rodeo. They also give a gift card to the team members on the winning team, so they, they get that award. So I really appreciate what they're doing in support of our youth. And then Cool Horse came on this year as the presenting sponsor, the title sponsor for the Youth World Championship. And you, you just can't thank those folks enough. If you need products, if you need help with anything that they offer, shop with those two companies in support of them supporting our youth. Again. One more sanctioned rodeo to go in Coffeyville. And that's next weekend. Pressure's on. And then this weekend. Yeah, that's the, all she wrote. This Saturday, yep. That's all she we wrote. We always ended with the Jackie Perkins Memorial Ranch Rodeo, and it will be an interesting day. Yep. Uh, WRCA.org. Download the free app. Tickets are sold out for Friday and Saturday. Still got some tickets left for the Youth Ranch Rodeo on Saturday. Still got Thursday, Sunday tickets. I'm telling you, Sunday's a good one. I like going on Sundays. I'm 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 like always preaching about Sundays. Sundays. We're up this year compared to last Mm -hmm. year right now on Thursday, Sunday. So they're tracking. I mean, if you want them, don't 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 wait wait around. Seriously. Yep. Go get them now. It's been a record year for ticket sales. So and thanks to New Generation Supplements. That's right, New Generation. Feeding the drum. Hey, here's a really talented broadcaster to tell you about feeding the drum. <laughs> get the most out of fall forages with the help of Feed in a Drum Supplements from New Generation Supplements. Feed in a Drum tubs provide your cattle with protein they need to efficiently harvest energy from fall forage. And it allows you to save some valuable hay for winter. You work hard as it is. Let research-proven Feed in a Drum supplement tubs make your herd work for you this fall and put more of that hard-earned money back in your pocket. After all, if you take care of your cows, they'll take care of you. See your local Feed in a Drum dealer or visit FeedinaDrum.com to learn more.